And here's our first example of how to find the efficiency of a heat engine and also on how much work is done. Uh, here we have a schematic of a heat engine. We have an input of heat, let's say 800 joules. We have an exhaust uh, that includes 600 joules of energy being expelled to the coal reservoir. And of course, we do a certain amount of work. So the question is, how much work is done in this case? Well, the definition is that the work is simply equal to the difference between the hot uh, between the heat taken in from the hot reservoir minus the heat being exhausted at the cold reservoir. So in this case, that is equal to 800 joules minus 600 joules. And so we do 200 joules of work. So this work is equal to 200 joules. Now for the efficiency, by definition, we can say that it's equal to the work done by the heat engine divided by the amount of heat we get from the hot reservoir. And so in this case, that would be 200 joules divided by 800 joules, which is equal to 0 0.25. And of course, we like to express that in terms of percent. So converting that, that is equal to 25% efficient, which means that this engine uses 25% of the heat taken from the hot reservoir and turned it into heat. And for an automobile engine, that would be a pretty good percentage because normally heat engines aren't that efficient. So that's a simple example. We'll show you some a little bit more complicated examples in the next several videos.